Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 21st of 2022. Well, it is titled the sky in 2021. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the sky as seen for the entire year last year. And it shows an image taken every 15 minutes during the year. And we can see all of those images then put together to show the light and dark. So the brighter areas would be light night, light daytime, and the darker areas, the hourglass shape in the middle would be night. Now we can see those and we can label some of the areas to try to get a little better understanding of what we're actually seeing here. And what we can see is that again, the brighter areas to the left and right are the day, the dark areas are the night. However, if you note some bands going across the um, bands going across the night section that are brighter in general. And if you notice, there's what about 12 of them? Well, guess what? That's the moon. Those are for the 12 months, the 12 lunar months in the year and the 12 times the moon would have passed through the sky and would have been visible. So we see those there as well. And we can see the track of the moon that way. Now, when we look at this, we can also see where the equinoxes and solstices are. And you can see the spring equinox when day and night were equal up at the up at the towards the top, uh, top middle. And then towards the middle of the image, we see the summer solstice, which is the maximum amount of daylight. So you note how very short the night time is there, that it's very, very short period of time of darkness. And then we see the autumnal equinox again when the length of day and night are equal. And then finally, at the bottom in December, we see the winter solstice where we get the maximum amount of darkness. Now this image was taken in the Netherlands. So we can see uh, the details as to what it would look like there. Now how this would look would depend on where you are located on Earth. The further north you go, the more extreme it would be. So the tighter pinched off that hourglass would be at the middle. If you go even further north into Scandinavia, you would get times uh, far enough north where there would be no darkness occurring. And that would be the land of the midnight sun when the sun is up for the entire day. And if you go far enough north, you would see that if you go far enough south, you would see far fewer changes and it would be less extreme. And if you note that if you live further south, the difference between uh, day and night is not as different in win as in winter as in summer as it is at more northerly latitudes or southern or far southerly latitudes. But here we get a full view of the sky all at once taken for over the course of the entire year of 2021 with one image taken every 15 minutes and then put together to give us our image that we see today. So that was our picture of the day for March 21st of 2022. It was titled the sky in 2021. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a whale of an aurora. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.